Best Foreign Language Film, the nominees are... Five strong pitchers in competition for the Foreign Language Film Oscar, but seasoned experts have found this year there's far less certainty to the race. Two years ago there was the Iranian film, A Separation. Last year there was the Austrian film, Amour. And, and those were pretty clear front runners. This year there are five entries and I honestly don't know what's going to win. Looking for a cowboy. Among the favoured films is Broken Circle Breakdown, a picture with a heart-wrenching story from Belgium, which has picked up numerous prizes on the festival circuit. It involves a couple in a bluegrass band uh, coping with the aftermath of their daughter's death from cancer. So that sounds like a real kind of gloomy premise, but the movie is riddled with some of the most beautiful music you'll hear all year. In fact, both the film and its soundtrack were commercial hits in Belgium. And I have been to a couple of screenings of this film where it leaves the audience in puddles. It's a, it's a major, major tearjerker for obvious reasons involving the premise of the movie, but it's also taken to an, another level of, of, of sort of emotional intensity by the music itself. Also considered a strong contender in the foreign language film race is The Great Beauty from Italy, a picture that is said to show the influence of that celebrated Italian filmmaker Federico Fellini. Directed by Paolo Sorrentino, The Great Beauty is at its heart the story of a journalist in Rome pondering his life. In the course of the movie, he's uh, uh, disappointed by the world uh, that uh, surround, uh, surrounds him and uh, this thing open uh, a crisis and uh, uh, the movie is about the answers that uh, he tries to find. Also up for an Oscar is Omar. It's the second time the film's Palestinian director has been nominated. The picture is set in the West Bank and it tells the story of a young Palestinian who with his comrades gets involved in the shooting of an Israeli soldier. Walid Zuwaita plays the film's Israeli antagonist. Omar has already won some significant prizes and it's been released in several countries. It is a love story, but one set against the backdrop of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. It heightens all the circumstances and um, it's important, I think, for the world to see that because, you know, to this day I don't think people realize the complexity of the conflict. Um, but uh, what I loved about the script was that it wasn't uh, uh, this in-your-face obvious kind of uh, message. It was uh, this very character-driven story. Jesus. For all the foreign language films, the mere fact that they've been nominated is a huge publicity windfall. In some of the world's film markets, the US in particular, there is a resistance to movies with subtitles. An Oscar nomination could help a foreign language film make real headway. Omar's director, Hani Abu Assad, has been diligently doing the rounds, like some of the other Oscar-nominated filmmakers working with the press, drumming up support for his film, trying to influence Oscar voters. The nomination has helped him very significantly. This nomination will, you know, give you the opportunity, especially in the United States, to expose your film more and more. We have nowadays so many movies, good movies, but a few places for the foreign language movies. Really, like, there is no... It's shrinking. The nomination will help you as a foreign language movie to distribute your movie. What is it for? What is it for? I can't say. Maybe it's best that you take free on the day, so we can put it here on place and still and quiet. Also competing for a foreign language film Oscar is the Danish film The Hunt. It's the story of a teacher played by Mads Mikkelsen who is falsely accused of child molestation. His life becomes a nightmare as everyone in his close-knit community comes to demonize him. It's a picture that critics really seem to like. The Danish film The Hunt is a very intense little thriller that I think engages the audience on all kinds of levels. It's a mystery, it's a thriller, and it's a psychological drama. It's a very, very good little movie. And for the first time, a film from Cambodia is in the running. It's called The Missing Picture. 
It's a documentary which uses in part clay animation to chronicle the experiences of the director's family and others in Cambodia in the 1970s during the days of terror during the Khmer Rouge regime. Les cadres rassemblaient plusieurs villages et nous projetaient un film entend la lutte du peuple à main nue contre les puissants colonisateurs. The film is really remarkable in the sense that it uses a voiceover narration, it, it uses stop motion animation, it uses home movie footage and archival news footage. So it really represents both the, the kind of historical dimensions of the, of the story as well as the personal way that the filmmaker is able to relate to them. So which foreign language film is going to win the Oscar trophy? It's a difficult call, even more so this year because of a new open voting procedure which could favour the film which has the highest recognition factor. I'll hazard a guess and say that either The Hunt or Broken Circle Breakdown will triumph. If you'll be my cowboy.